Welcome to Winning Isn't Easy. I'm Nancy Cavey, National Arrested Disability Attorney. Before we get started, I've got to give you a legal disclaimer. This podcast is not legal advice. The Florida Bar Association says, I've got to say it, so I've said it. Let's get down to business. I'm going to talk about three things today. First, before you apply for or file a claim for benefits, you should know what policies you have. Number two, before you apply for or file a claim for benefits, you should know what's in your policy. And number three, before you apply for or file a claim for benefits, you should know how to pick the right day to be disabled. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll begin. Stay tuned. Have you been robbed of your peace of mind from your disability insurance carrier? You owe it to yourself to get a copy of Robbed of Your Peace of Mind, which provides you with everything you need to know about the long-term disability claim process. Request your free copy of the book at kvlaw.com today. Before you apply for or file a claim for benefits, you need to know what policies you have. Well, what are the potential policies you might have? The first you might have is an individual disability insurance policy, and that's the best and it's customized to you and your personal needs. Secondly, you might have an ERISA disability policy that you bought through your employer. The third might be an ERISA disability policy that you have through an association. Or you also might have a life insurance policy or a group insurance policy that has a waiver of premium that allows you to keep you, your coverage while you remain disabled. Or if you're a business owner, you might have two additional types of coverage. You might have business overhead insurance that covers business expenses during the period of disability. And you might have a disability buyout policy. That's known as a key man insurance policy. The money is paid to the business to buy out the disabled shareholder. So before we get started, let's get your policy or policies out. You might have one or you might have a number of policies. So I want you to get out a sheet of paper for each policy. Or you might want to just set it up in an Excel spreadsheet. I want you to page through the policy and I want you to write down key terms because we're going to compare them. Now, each policy has separate terms and separate requirements and potential interactions with each. So we want to understand that before we stop working and apply for benefits. What are some of the key uh, definitions you want to know? Well, you want to know, one, what the elimination period is. Two, you want to know what is the standard of disability? What do you have to prove to prove that you can't do your own occupation? Is it material and substantial duties? Next thing you want to understand is the definition of any occupation, because at some point your policy may transition into an uh, own occupation policy. So what's the standard uh, for the definition of disability? And you may begin to see that there are differences between these definitions. Now, you also want to understand a crucial term, and that's own occupation, because that can be defined differently. Is it your occupation that you were performing at the time you became disabled? Is it the occupation uh, that you were performing for your employer? Is it your occupation that's performed in the national economy? So it's key that we understand what it is, what your occupation is, because we have to prove that you can't do that occupation and not a job, an occupation. The next term you want to be looking for are going to be policy limitations in terms of the length of coverage, mental nervous limitations, subjective condition limitations. These are traps. Now, the subjective medical condition is a particular trap because it may be so broad to include conditions like fatigue, migraines, soft tissue conditions. And you need to know that now because your benefits will only be limited to two years. The next set of policy definitions that are important in my view are going to be other income provisions. Most disability carriers will allow the carrier to reduce benefits by the receipt of these other income benefits. They can include personal injury settlements, workers' compensation settlements. Uh, they generally will include uh, social security disability benefits and dependent benefits, but they might even include things like retirement benefits. And the other thing you need to understand is um, whether or not there is any pre-existing condition clause that could potentially stop you in your tracks. Because if you recently got this policy and you become disabled, 
uh, during uh, what's called a look back period or, or going to apply the look back period and say, hey, your coverage became effective on this date, but we're going to look back in the six months before this coverage became effective. And we're going to look to see whether or not you got any treatment for the condition that you're claiming to uh, be disabling. And that's called uh, basically pre-existing uh, condition clause exclusions. And we need to know that from the very beginning before you stop working or apply for benefits, because you may need to continue to get um, to continue work, but not get treatment. And that is obviously something you can't fix once you have uh, stopped working and you've applied for your benefits. So put that together either on a piece of paper or an Excel spreadsheet. Maybe you want to use different colors for your different policies so that you can start seeing the differences in the terms of these policies, because each policy has their own proof, their own mechanism of proof. And if you don't understand what it is you have to prove for each one of these policies, it can be a disaster if you pick the wrong date or, or you apply for benefits and you just don't have the supporting documentation that establishes that you meet the necessary uh, definitions in your policy. All right, ready? We're going to take a quick break and then we're going to resume when we return. Stay tuned. 